All right, thank you. Oversold that introduction a little bit. The kittens? You forgot the part about uh, me punching a shark in the face. I didn't mention that? I'm so sorry. That's yeah. true. That happened as well. That's that right. happened. I'm actually wearing the sharks right now. Where, where am I putting this water? I can hold it for you. Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Too weird? You want to just put it, put it between your feet? Or? This is good. This is, this is going to make the reel. This is the highlight reel right here. Just nod when you want some. Brett and Anthony consider life while watching water. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, I, I hope you feel as illuminated <laughs> and refreshed as I do. Uh, thank you, Anthony. Guys, I think we should make everybody else jealous who is not here watching this panel. If they're not... That was pretty good. Let's do that throughout this whole Q&A. So people are like, who is that? What is that? Those guys right there in line for taking pictures with whoever, they should be here, right? So let's make them, our goal will be if that whole line comes and watches us, okay? And these guys here, the Mortal Kombatans, um, everybody else, we'll, we'll do some woos throughout, okay? How about whenever I say Hydra, or shield. <laughs> Best crowd ever. All of you guys are honorary members of Hydra. <laughs> I am loving this. This is going to be so cool. Season three of Agents of Shield, <laughs> where they try to defeat Hydra. <laughs> Because we've got some new leadership. And that's me. Me wasn't a word, but let's do that anyway. Very nice. <laughs> um, cool. Cool. Well, we'll let's, take some let's questions. Let's think about this or... water some more. Sure. That's a good one. Zero calories. It's purified. <laughs> it's also enhanced with minerals. It's cold, but it will get warmer. Like room temperature. Up, up to about that, yeah. Hmm. I, don't, I just want to let you guys know, he's wearing <laughs> flamingo chucks. Kids? Chucks? Vans. Flamingos. My, man, you really got the Florida style down. <laughs> with the kicking? Oh, or no, with no, not, the that, not that. That's, oh. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that's I was the Florida so style that kicking. I didn't right. even notice the kicking. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, lots of kicking. Kicking it with Anthony. Um, all right. Uh, we have questions and stuff. I heard there was a marriage proposal. I heard something about Shield and Hydra. We're making them so jealous. You have no idea, guys. I can see all these faces. Everybody's like, well, where am I? Why am I not there? They're coming. They're coming. Okay. Yeah. It's a panel. It's a panel. It's a Q&A, sir. If you wanted to come and join, this is the place to be. You know. I can highlight it in your schedule if you'd like. Okay, update your app, maybe on your iCalendar or something. Let me give you some alerts. Maybe ascending or chimes, something like that. I know, you know what I'm talking about. You're pretending, but you know. All right, anyway, this place to be. If you're Hydra or Shield, this place to be. So, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome. All right, uh, marriage proposals, yes. Go for it. No marriage proposals. Oh, Married okay, next question. 29 years. Um, we, we were in California in March of 2014. Uh -huh. Went to the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. And you oh, you were it. there? Yes. Oh. And I really liked you at that time because... Just at that time, not now, okay. You, you were S.H.I.E.L.D. And then you turned. Uh, I did, the character did. I also right. talked about my, my work building houses with Habitat for Humanity, yeah. which I've, I've done. Oh, oh, thank you. 
Thank you. I've done that in Mexico and Africa, and yeah, that's something so. that uh, I'm very passionate about. And uh, yeah. my wards pun fund, uh, uh, some of the uh, the money goes to that as well. So, um, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry you don't like me anymore. Yeah, well, <laughs> at the time, did you know the character was going to become what it became? Yes, this was all an elaborate plot to get yeah. you to like me and then not like me. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I can just say, mission accomplished. Yeah, very, very good job. Very good job. <laughs> Um, I did not know. They let me know uh, the episode before. Uh, they, they like to keep their, their secrets very uh, close to them. Uh, and these were, uh, the scripts were read, so you can't photocopy them. Um, they were hand delivered uh, to, to my apartment. I mean, it's, it, it got really pretty crazy. Um, we, we were just very glad that you didn't get the walk off the stage forever, so. I'm sad that you're right. shield, not shield. Oh, I, I don't like to walk off stages. In no. fact, I'm going to be here all night. <laughs> I, I don't care who's next. I know they probably got a panel. It's not going to be. It's not going to be this. I'm going to be here in the background. I have to. So, I have to but I know. have to go. You might have to I'll, go. I'll stay. I'll stay. Uh, as long as I have a supply of waters. Thank you for your, your <laughs> thank you for your patience, really, uh, while I, I took uh, as many tangents as I possibly could. Um, but that's that's what you do here at a panel with Brett, uh, who's the head of Sh Hydra. <laughs> cool. All right. Okay. So, of course, another Shield and Hydra question: Who do you actually personally prefer to we fight We missed that for? one, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's <was> fine. <laughs> But who do you personally prefer to fight for? To, to fight? Shield or Hydra? Who do you like to be? <laughs> Shield or Hydra? Yeah. <laughs> Shield or Hydra? <laughs> so Shield or Hydra was, was the question? Okay. Oof. Sometimes Shield. <laughs> Sometimes Hydra. <laughs> ah. Um, I, uh, well, well, <laughs> um, um, Shydra, yes, Shydra, uh, that, <laughs> three people got that, that was a long-standing joke, somebody asked me that before, and, uh, it was at a panel where there was, it looked like a German nightclub, so I said it with a German extra, Shydra. <laughs> It's funny stuff. You had to be there, um, <laughs> but you're here now. I'm not really answering your question. Uh, it seems. It seems that I am not answering your question. Um, I liked playing a good guy. I really like playing a bad guy, um, I, and and uh, I also enjoy being somewhere in, in the middle. So how's that? for not answering your question. <laughs> You're just all over the place. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, but, uh, but my love for S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA <laughs> um, is, is I, I don't know, it's all over the place. Yes, yeah. Right. Thank you. Much, much like my fashion sense. Uh, <clears throat> you, you follow a main theme, though. It is, it's, yeah. it's a good theme. Yeah, yeah thank you. Go for it. Hello, Brett. Yes. My name Hello. is Matthias. I was wondering... Who is your favorite actor in S.H.I.E.L.D. and who is your favorite actor in HYDRA? Um, there's this guy, uh, his name's Brett Dalton. He plays um, <laughs> Agent Grant Ward. Um, I think he's pretty good because uh, he's, been, <laughs> he's been part of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> been part of HYDRA as well. Where, <laughs> where is this panel going? We started with water. <laughs> and we've just gone downhill. Thank you. Um, ah, this is fantastic. Um, this is the place to be, let me tell you. If you want a question not answered. Um, I think we, we have a very talented uh, uh, group of people, and um, we're all friends in real life. I know that's kind of boring. It's probably more fun if like, hey, actually, Chloe is really bad at this or whatever. But it's, it's not like that. We actually do really, we hang out socially and, uh, and we really like each other. So um, um, probably, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Working with Bill Paxton was, was one of the highlights of my whole career, actually. Um, he taught me so much. Yeah, let's hear it for Bill Paxton. Uh, the clairvoyant, um, Agent Garrett himself. Um, working with him was just a, a joy, and uh, and I learned so much with that. Um, and uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's just it's just been a blast, and I, I hope it doesn't ever end. 
I'll be here on the stage Can I forever. have one more yes. question, please? Yeah. Is it possible that I can get a photo with you on stage? Okay, right now? Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. There has to be a glass of water between us, you know. That's the theme. Okay. You want to throw that next question out? I may not get to it, but go ahead. In the meantime. All right. Yeah. How is your relationship with Sky? Next question. The sky, I love it. I love it. It's always above me. Um, <laughs> not that good. All right. All right, brother. Okay. Do you want, do you want that? Right. I'll hold that. All right. <laughs> that can't be normal, just so you all know. We can't all do that. He's only got an hour. That trick works once. And only so much water. I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, my relationship with Sky. Well, it's changed, hasn't it? Uh, my grandmother would love us to get together, and, uh, and every time I do a very bad thing, she says, did, did you have to do that? Um, and, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's just a lot of fun to play, and, and it's, it's incredibly unpredictable. Um, I, I'm still a Skyward shipper myself, but it... it <laughs> yeah, uh, but it all kind of depends uh, where the writers decide to, to take that relationship. Um, they were exploring a lot with Agent 33. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see if this ship uh, still has some, some gas in it. I, I mixed a metaphor there, okay? Forgive me. Uh, it's supposed to be a ship. It's supposed to be a hull. And they're supposed to be, it's supposed to still be afloat. Sail. Yeah, but if it's sailed, then it's gone. It's like, that ship has sailed. It's gone. It's no longer here. Steam, that's right. The ship has steam. The ship has steam. Or the ship might right itself. Either way, take your pick. Uh, and uh, Hydra. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is the greatest panel ever. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Do you hope to return to S.H.I.E.L.D.? Yeah. The show? Yes. <laughs> the team. Um, the team. Well, I, I thought um, it was... Oh, thanks, buddy. Um, it, it was... <laughs> It was such a, uh, an interesting and fun episode where, where I got to sort of work with them. Um, it was kind of the, the big elephant in the room, and there was this really uneasy alliance um, between us. I thought that was really fun, because not since, like, mid-season one did I get to work with these guys. Uh, so that was really, really fun. Uh, but I, I think, to go back to the ship thing, that ship has <laughs> sailed. Uh, I don't know if that will ever... Uh, it seems that the team is not really able to forgive me, um, <laughs> even if uh, I'm, I'm able to, you know, uh, uh, even if I have forgiven them. So, anyway. Love your outfit, by the way. Business up top. Party down below. Um, like, from waist up, it's just like business interview. <laughs> what are my strengths and weaknesses? And then from here on out, like, I'm going to the beach, dude. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Hello. Hello. Um, my question is, what was your favorite location to go to? Hmm. Hmm. My favorite location. Uh, okay, well. Did it have water? Did it have water? There was a place that was supposed to be uh, Malta, and it was just off of uh, the coast <laughs> in L.A. Um, and that was kind of fun. I got to, you know, it was my first kind of like a far away location, I guess, um, in LA, and I got to do that with Clark, and we pulled a boat up. That's when we were still working in season one. But I did get to spend Valentine's Day with Joss Whedon um, in Paris, France. So I, that, that already, that was for the pilot, so that sort of set the bar uh, uh, irresponsibly, unreasonably high. Um, and I don't know if anything can ever top that. So it was pretty cool. Um, to, to do that, so uh, that would be it. That's the one. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 
Hello. Hello. My name's Emma. Hi, Emma. And I was wondering, who did you always want to be um, Agent Grant? Um, yeah, Grant. Or did you want to be another agent? Um, I, yeah, I always wanted to be Gemma Simmons. <laughs> did you audition for them? <laughs> Where is this panel going? What is happening? It must be the water. Uh, <laughs> she's got the coolest accent, doesn't she? And she's so sweet. She's so, so sweet. Um, <laughs> um, no, I, I've gotten uh, various uh, forms of the same question about, you know, do I want to be a superhero? Or uh, which one of the Avengers would I be? I I'm having a blast being Grant Ward. So uh, I like playing this character. Hi, um, I have a question for you. Ward has done a lot of bad things. Do you think that there's anything good left in him? Can he come back from that, or is it too late for him? Um, that, that is a, that's a very good question. Uh, should I take it seriously? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or just joke around with the question like I've done with every other thing. Um, <laughs> I think that they spent, the writers have spent a really long time um, making this a sympathetic character um, where you got to see flashbacks of his past. You know that his sympathy is a weakness, um, something that he's confronted when he was uh, ordered to shoot the dog, something that he was confronted with uh, when he was ordered to push Gemma Simmons and, and uh, uh, Fitz, Sim Fitz, when they, he was ordered to put Fitz Simmons into the uh, ocean. Um, and, you know, something that we see a lot with his relationship with Skye. Uh, so I think that he absolutely has a good side to him. He obviously clearly has a code that he lives by, and I think that code has rights and wrongs and things you can do and things you can't do. Um, sometimes that doesn't always make sense to the outside person. It just seems like a lot of outside just killing and doing all of that stuff. But torturing Bobby Morse was in service of a bigger thing that he thought was worthwhile and, you know, resetting Agent 33's past and doing all of that stuff. So, yeah, sucked for Bobby Morris, but it was supposed to, you know, be a way of moving on for, for um, Agent 33. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's goodness still left in him, I think. I took that answer seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Good for me for actually answering a question genuinely. All right, Shydra. Okay. Ready? Okay. So, I was wondering what was your actual reaction to reading the script to the Fitzsimmons <gasps> episode? That was my reaction. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> dramatically recreated for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> where is this going? Uh, that was quite an echo. Uh, I, I read it and, uh, and uh, this was the same moment that was repeated, right? So in his past, he was told to do this thing with the dog and, and you know, here he is uh, forced to do something uh, similar to somebody um, that he's grown quite attached to and uh, has genuine like feelings for. Um, so it was the same moment sort of repeating himself, repeating itself. In the episode, when you first saw it, it was ambiguous. Did he shoot the dog? Did he not? I talked with the director. She's like, no, 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 you didn't shoot the dog. And I was like, great, because that's, that, that's inexcusable. And then you find out in the season finale, oh yeah, just kidding. By the way, he shot his dog, because that's what I told Agent 33. So either I'm rewriting my past and, you know, into whatever services me at the time, or I actually shot the dog, in which case that's pretty messed up. Um, I don't think I shot the dog either. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe it was just a lie that I told uh, 33. Um, so anyway, yeah. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> we're, at, uh, we're at about a half an hour right now, and uh, I want to make sure everyone gets to uh, get their questions answered. Yes. I'm just going to stick a... Whether I'm you're part of Hydra. Yeah, I'm going to stick a red shirt. Or shield. 
We'll answer your questions. Yeah. Just, uh, just stick a, uh, if we can grab a red shirt or someone to stick at the, at the end, not you, because you know I need you. I need you. Right, and someone not the person there. who's asking a question who also has a red shirt on. Or guy in the shirt, or the guy in the back with the beard, just knock out anyone who tries to get behind you. Just do, no, don't do that. Uh, but, but you're the last guy for now, and if we do have some time after, we'll, we'll kind of do one or two more questions. Just want to make sure everyone in that line gets gotcha. a chance. All Your right. Hydra membership is, uh, is pending. Depending on how you decide to deal with the person who comes in behind you. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Pretty good. Uh, yeah. I got distracted by a dragon uh, <laughs> back there who's flapping her wings. A beautiful yeah. costume. Oh my goodness. Okay. Just want to say that I wore the shirt for a reason. Are you offended? <laughs> oh, oh goodness. No, because I'm part of Shydra, dude. It's <laughs> it's its own thing, man. All right. Um, all right. Quick question. Um, out of all the Avengers, uh, who would you say would make a great mentor for Agent Ward? Hulk? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't like him when he's angry. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> who would you grab a drink with out of all the Avengers? Hulk? <laughs> he can put it down, man. He can really, really, really put it down, I imagine. Although I don't know if he could even hold a cup, man. He'd be so angry. He'd go yeah, straight through it. Yeah. <laughs> you can probably down a keg or something. I don't know. Pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope that answers your question. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate it. Man. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, how are you? Go for it. Um, so do you know anything about Simmons, like, in the season finale when she got sucked up into the little metal thing, do you know anything that's going to happen to her? Not at all, no. Uh, we start shooting, or we resume shooting for season three uh, in about two weeks. Um, yeah, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty cool. Um, and then obviously our premiere isn't for another maybe four or six weeks. Um, but, I, so I know nothing. The last time I spoke to the writers or anybody from our cast was like the end of season two. So it's, it's been weeks. Uh, we text back and forth every now and then, but I have no idea. I will have a story conference with them um, before this starts and they'll probably say, hey, here's the sort of general arc um, or for the season, or here's where the first couple of episodes are, here's what's happened in between seasons two and three, here's where we're picking up, stuff like that. I, I don't have any of that, so it's not like, you know, I'm not letting the cat out of the bag. The cat's not in the bag yet. You know what I'm saying? So, so I really don't, I, I have no information. Um, that was a crazy thing that happened to Gemma Simmons, though. She's got swallowed up by a rock that turned into a liquid. And then also some stuff happened in the ocean, and now it's part of like some Omega fish oil. So that means all of the people who shop at Whole Foods and who take care of their bodies, it's, gonna, it's not gonna affect everybody because not everybody takes fish oil, but it's gonna affect a couple people <laughs> who are health conscious. It's gonna take them out. Hey, Mr. Dalton. Sir. How are you? All right, so now that Grant Ward is, you know, He's starting to get Hydra back together and, you know, he's starting to get up in the world. I got to ask this question. If he had to go up against one of the Avengers, who would it be? <laughs> well, I mean, okay, hold on, hold on. By himself? Sure. I mean... Well, I don't know why he'd do that by himself, man. These are, these are like Avengers and I don't have any superpowers and these guys all have superpowers, so... Well, you can pick one person to fight with. Yeah. One person to fight with. Like one person who you might be able to beat, possibly. Or outsmart. Is this with or without me stealing Iron Man's costume? Because, uh, you know. If you could pull that off, sure. <laughs> huh, I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like there's a couple circumstances here that we've glazed over. Um, all of a sudden, I'm in the room with another Avenger. I think I would lose. Um, uh, you know, I, even if I have a killer instinct, uh, bare hands are nothing against a super soldier or a guy who's been blasted by gamma rays or, you know, any of that stuff. That's cheating. Not even Hawkeye? Huh? Not even Hawkeye? I mean, no, Hawkeye's got some skills, man. He's got <laughs> some skills. And you heard him on the piano. <laughs> you know he can sing, too. 
He's gonna, he's gonna get you right here. He's gonna move you. That's where okay? he's gonna defeat you. He is gonna move you. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. The rhythm is gonna get you. Hail Hydra. Okay? <laughs> you watch out for that rhythm. It's gonna get you. <laughs> Okay. It's yeah. going well so far, right? Right? All right. The spirit has moved us all. Now yeah. that you're a main stand, the main standing leader of Hydra, are you going to be in any of, the, any of Marvel's major motion pictures? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not that I know of, but uh, I will check my voicemails right now. Um, and, uh, oh, that's a call from Joss Whedon. Let me... Uh, let me get that. <laughs> that joke didn't go down as, as well as I thought it would. Um, nope. Uh, so, no, as far as I know, I, I, I'm not. But uh, who knows? I mean, we were the first um, in the MCU to introduce in humans. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, some, some uh, uh, milestones are happening on our show, and uh, I, I don't think there's any reason why they can't cross over that way. So far, it's been mostly movie into kind of trickling down into our TV thing, but maybe we could, you know, do it the opposite way. Um, what who if, knows? What if people tweeted and messaged and really pushed for this to happen? I'm sure make that happen, right? Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Um, one of my favorite parts about S.H.I.E.L.D. is all Oh, of, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the great guest stars that get to be on the show. You mentioned earlier working with Bill Paxton. And I was also wondering, what was it like to work with Kyle MacLachlan? Oh, great. Great. I tell you, he, he plays a lot of um, unhitched characters. But he is a sweetheart in real life, and so professional, and so good at what he does. Um, from what I hear, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis is also like the nicest guy. You've seen him in interviews and things like that, and you wonder how somebody who is just so pleasant um, can kind of go there. Uh, Kyle has that same thing. He really does. He's nothing but a, a complete gentleman, and, and just so prepared and so on top of it, and yet as soon as the scene is done, he's right there and asking you about your weekend. Uh, it's, it's really, it's a fantastic, I don't know how he does it, but uh, very, very lucky to work with, with these legends um, who've, who've, you know, done our show. Thank you. Um, so, so very, very exciting. And thank you, I'm, I'm glad I'm your favorite character. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Brett. Um, Hello. I have kind of a fun question. Okay, I'll be the judge of that. Um, <laughs> Sorry, uh, go ahead. Uh, all right, kiss, marry, kill. Who? <laughs> first of all, who is Mary Kill, and why am I kissing her? <laughs> wait, wait, that's not the end of the question. Um, I thought that was funnier than what it got. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll we'll pause for a forced forced uh, applause uh, and laughter. Okay. That's, that's cool. That's cool. I thought it was funny. It's, it's me. It's delivery. No, no. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Now, that's not... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. That mercy. Mercy. Laughter. Applause. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes? So, kiss, marry, kill. Fitz, Hunter, Colson. <laughs> you get a round of applause for that. Question. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Kiss Hunter, because he's the bad boy. Um, uh, marry Ian, because him and I were destined to be together. Okay. Uh, our hashtag, by the way, is Wits or Ford. Um, take your pick. And, um, and kill Coulson, because he's been the thorn in my side since I started this TV show. So there you go. Thank you. All right. Why did I answer that? That's just, that's just, it's going straight to YouTube. Oh, that's what it is. It's just, and so is this part afterward. This part is going to be the, the epilogue to this YouTube clip. <laughs> Quick drink. The, the, uh, Instagrams have to be a certain length of time. Right. So. <laughs> Thanks to Sonny. <laughs> Hello there. Um, first off, hail Hydra. <laughs> Second off. And hail to you. Thank you. Um, your character has always been very interesting to me because I've liked the way that they've kind of advanced him and gone more in depth to him, and it's always been very interesting to see 
the way that writers have shown him and all of him and how it's just been very interesting to read. As a question to you, did you like really enjoy comics or did you were you into comics when you were younger? And if so, do you have now a favorite Marvel character or a favorite DC character that you consider like you enjoy watching or reading about? Yes. Next question. Uh, <laughs> yes, if you'll ask these vendors over here, uh, during my break I actually went to their thing and, and uh, they're holding some comic books for me right now and we're very happy that I was geeking out. Um, uh, so I've, I've collected comics, I thought they were going to be worth a lot more than <laughs> what they are uh, at this point. But um, yes, since I was younger, I've collected comics. Uh, I really like the action figures, so I have a whole bunch of uh, the McFarlane uh, Monster series, the Oz, the Twisted World of Oz. Um, a lot of uh, his um, uh, action figures are, are, he's elevated the action figure. <laughs> um, so I have a lot of his stuff, comic cards when I was younger. Um, and uh, yeah, most recently, I think the last one that I bought, bought, that were not like given to me once I started the show, uh, was Old Man Logan, uh, Wolverine, that series. That's insane. It, that's the coolest thing ever. Um, and, uh, and as for DC, I really like Lobo. I was looking at some Lobo comics over there. Thank you, one person. <laughs> Thank you, one guy. Um, I appreciate that, because uh, his stuff is just, it's totally uh, irreverent, and um, you know, it shows Santa Claus and the elves and all these like body parts and stuff. And when I was a kid, I thought that was really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, I am a, a genuine fan. Uh, there's so much going on that it's hard to be, you know, to have my finger in every pie. That didn't sound right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to be aware of all of the stuff that's going on. But uh, yes, I am a, a genuine fan and, and hope to continue to be and now have a, a good excuse to, to geek out all the time. So thank so you. So do you have a favorite, though? Favorite character? Oh, a favorite character? Um, oh, Death's Head is pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. OK. Not even one. <laughs> wow, OK. <laughs> <laughs> At least with Lobo, I got one woo. Uh, Death's Head 2 is actually uh, my favorite because I think he's just cool and so weird looking. Um, Cable was pretty cool. Deadpool is dope. Um, yeah, I like, I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, Juggernaut. Juggernaut's awesome. Yeah, I like playing him in the video game too. Thank you very much. Cool. <laughs> All right, thanks. Uh, I just want to know what it was like to. to transition from Agent Wade to Heil Hydra. Uh, Agent, uh, 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 Agent Ward. Sorry yeah. I said that Ward, sorry. Yeah, no, that's all right. Uh, uh, Agent Wade was, uh, was when I was in high school. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't as successful. Um, but I'm glad, thank you, I mean, if you're familiar with my work in, in high school. Um, a a Agent Ward, um, uh, yeah, I don't know, I thought it was great, actually, because, um, you know, a as the good guy, Agent Ward, who was undercover, I got to, I wouldn't even say beat people up, I'd say get in fights and then kind of neutralize the threat, but not really win in any sort of cool fashion like Agent May always does. She always got the pose at the end, you know, she's like that. <laughs> And then she'll blow the hair out. Yeah, it's just really cool. And I just get beat up all the time. It's okay, sir. Copy that. You know, threat neutralized. Uh, so that's all I, you know, I got to do a, a lot of that stuff and, and some stuff with Sky. But as soon as they turned me bad, I got some real uh, interesting acting scenes that I got to do, uh, which I was very thankful for. And I think that they just saw me having such a good time. They said, okay, well, we'll just continue writing that. Um, that's my impression of them, I, guess, I suppose. Thank you. Um, yeah. I love the writers. I, I hope that didn't seem like... Anyway, I really do. So, that last guy just took my question, but... Um, <laughs> Have um, the last guy, he's supposed to beat the next person up? Is that the last person? No, no, so I mean, like, no, I mean the person that just went. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. But he's um, the one who's beating people up in the line, <laughs> so I just figured I'd just ask him. So I just came up with this on the fly. Um, yeah, man. Out of all of the Marvel movies that came, that like in um, the Disney, like the ones Disney owns, which one was your favorite? Hmm. Um. Uh, you know what? Iron Man. Iron Man One is pretty bulletproof. <laughs> it like 
cool. Yeah, you guys want to applaud, but not sure if you can. <laughs> Do it. Iron Man Iron won. Man. That, that is so solid. That, that provided the framework, I think, for like all of the rest of the Marvel movies. It, it's just, it's so solid from top to bottom. It, I think still, it just, it set the bar. And uh, it was so satisfying on just, just every level. Um, people have been trying to make like action hero movies for a really long time. If you look at some of the older Fantastic Four movies, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff where they're sort of finding it, all of the Hulk remakes, you know what I mean? And these are Marvel characters, they got some great stuff, but, but translating that from the page to the screen, I think took a while. And then as soon as Iron Man came out and the Marvel Studios, what, kind of perfected it, you know? They kind of was like, this is how it's supposed to be done. And, and so, yeah, I, I still love it for that, for showing us what it, how it's supposed to be done. Not bad for an on-the-fly question. Nice. Not bad for an on the fly yeah. answer, too. Oh, yeah, I was, you uh, did great. Yeah, thank well you. In that. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm bringing this back to myself. You're doing uh, a great nice job. Nice question. Thank yeah. you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Brett. Hello. My question is Who was your favorite fighting scene with? Was it with Agent May or Agent Bobby? Oh, man, it's kind of equal. <laughs> it's kind of equal. Both of us were so proud. Those, those are season finale fights. Um, we spent all day on these things. You, you have no idea how much time and energy we put into what turns out to be a minute and a half of screen time. You know, maybe two if we're lucky. Um, these are big fights and, you know, we want to see Ward get beat up or Ward <laughs> win or whatever. Um, but we, we, we kill ourselves for these things and, and so I'm glad that people appreciate them. Um, the one with May, we were really happy about. It won this like EW like season fin best <laughs> season finale fight, and it went through different rooms, and people are still like nail Hydra, and uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> um, and, and so that that was a very cool thing. But the thing with with um, um, with uh, Adrian Palinke was was also really really cool, and she throws herself into these stunts as well. And and she did stuff that her stunt double, you know, they they ended up using almost all of Adrian's footage. Wow. So I mean, she's she's crazy. She's good with this stuff. Um, so we were really physical and really throwing ourselves into it uh, as well. So I, I I like them both. The maybe the one with May. It involved more <laughs> toys and tools and all that crazy stuff, so maybe that has a, a little bit of an edge just because it was just so nuts. There was also drama there, too. Yeah, she got a one-liner or two about, <laughs> you know, I was always on top. <laughs> Originally, I didn't have anything. It was just she said that, and I was like, give me something. Give me something, guys. Because she wins, and then she, you know, and then this whole nail hydra thing happened. Come on, give me something. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, first of all, I do want to go ahead and say uh, I still stand with Ward. Hey! So, uh, Thank you. That. Thank you. We got some of our most loyal supporters up in the front here. True yeah. Ward Warriors. Yep. Honestly, that, that is something that, that, sorry, I'm just taking this for a second. This, that's something that uh, became so popular and such a thing that they wrote it into the show, into our season finale. Um, Agent 33 says, I will always stand with Ward. Um, so it, it's a thing, and, and I got some of the best fans in the world, and they have uh, made me they, who they, I am today. They so thank you. They thank brought you. me in. Really? Yeah. You included in that. Thank you, Yes, man. I was recruited. Uh, I do have two questions. First question, I noticed nobody proposed to you, so will you marry me? <laughs> it is legal now. <laughs> I'm already marrying Fitz, man. It's okay. I'll be your Fitz. I'll pretend that I was have a good a line. Accent, that was a good line, man. <laughs> uh, maybe, but you have to beat up the person who was behind you, man. I'm You're sorry, supposed to be last bro. in line, I'm sorry. dude. I'm sorry. Right, I do we can let him go. We can let that guy in the back go. Yeah, he can be. Yeah, all right, all right. All right. Uh, you can officiate. One question. One question. Go ahead. <laughs> um, what do you believe would happen with Ward next season? Uh, do you fall into that hellfire theory, or, or or do you fall into the he's really just Hydra? That's it. They're excited too. They they heard. We got a fire. better woo than that. Can I drop this mic? Please don't. Please don't. 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 <laughs> Pretend. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Thank you guys. Um. Huh. What was the question again? 
We were wooing. I got caught up in the woo, I, dude. I actually, I, can't, you, I forgot what myself. You, what do you think is going to happen with Ward next season? There, okay, so guys, for, for, I mean, I don't know. You guys are at my panel, so you're, you're fans, so maybe you know. But for those who don't, um, there's, there's a couple theories out there that I might be Punisher, that I might be Hellfire, and that I might be, um, there's one other one. Taskmaster. Taskmaster, thank you. I don't know if any of these are true. I think all of those characters are cool as hell, and uh, that would be a really, really interesting thing. It, it would differ a little bit from their backstories. There's some stuff that connects and other stuff that just kind of, kind of doesn't, but I, I don't know. I mean, I have not been told anything. Again, there's no cats to let out, and I will let you know because I save cats. Yes, he does. <laughs> Is that a woo for the cats or for me? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And if I may, between those three, do you have a preference? Between, between cats no, and... No, no, no. <laughs> Boxer, Punisher, and Hellfire, do you have a preference? Oh, uh... Hmm. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Punisher's got the coolest costume, dude. I have my ways. That's pretty cool. Taskmaster is up there. I'm just going to mention all of these so that I don't. <laughs> and, and Hellfire is dope, too. Uh, man, you put me in a position, dude. Yes, I How about... Oh, man. There's not a funny collection of those things like there is with Shydra. Nope. Let's pretend I... <laughs> Uh, is there a preference? Uh, no, man. I mean, as I said earlier, I'm just happy playing this character, who he is. If he turns out to be somebody else, that's great. Might be an action figure coming out. I like action figures. But, you know, other than that, I'm just happy with, 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 with playing the guy that I'm playing. Um, and, you know, I'm perfectly happy to just read the comics about the other guys, you know? So, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Woo! <laughs> All right, last question. You guys make me feel so nice. Thank you. Thank you, honestly. Thanks for all the wooing and all the jealous making of all of these people. Um, yeah. How's it going? Um, I was curious, which ward did you prefer playing? The good guy ward or the Hydra ward? Because in my opinion, Hydra ward made the show 10 times better than it was before. Oh man, thank you. Thank you for giving me all that credit. No, um, definitely. <laughs> you never know what you're going to do next on that show. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think, I think uh, you know, I, 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 again, have the best fans in the world. Um, a, a lot of people, I think, uh, are drawn to a character who seems to uh, be operating. In a show like this, you have your good guys and you have your bad guys. It's fun when there's a guy who's not any one of those and who is sometimes part of the good guy team and sometimes part of the bad guy team. I mean, it, it makes... It makes it completely unpredictable. It is a wild card in, in a game of good guys and bad guys. Um, it's, it's the ultimate gray area. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's, it's somebody who it, it, you don't know what is going to happen when he's on screen. Um, so I think that that's, that's kind of interesting um, in, in a show like ours to have that element that is, that is completely um, uh, unpredictable. I've said unpredictable, haven't I? I think I've used that word about three times. <laughs> I was looking for another one. I was searching the thesaurus and it, it came up with nothing. Um, <laughs> exciting! Um, so anyway, uh, I, I, I enjoy the, the bad guy stuff and I think that yeah. um, I, I, people respond to it. I, I think people see the joy in me playing it too, uh, maybe the writers included. Because um, you know, they, they gave me this thing and after about 15 minutes of me realizing, oh, I'm not getting fired? Okay, great. Um, then I really, I took that direction and I ran with it. And I was like, okay, great. I, I, I know what I'm, what I'm doing here. And, uh, and they thankfully have let this guy be as interesting as he is. Because, you know, at the end of season one, Garrett dies. They could have easily just said, you know what? And then he rejoins the team. They could have. But they kept me alive and well as this, you know, exposed nerve. And uh, that's nice. That's better than unpredictable. Yeah. Um, and, and so, yeah, and so uh, hopefully, uh, you know, um, he'll, he'll continue to, to be out there making other people nervous. Exposed nerve. I just tried to pull that back. That's all. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I wanted to, um, 
uh, ask you, is there any difference in your character from your uh, shield side? Is, is it a different character that you play altogether, would you, would you call it? Or would you say it's well, a variation? Well, yeah, the bad guy has sexy stubble, um, and the good guy just shaves. Uh, that's how you know. Uh, and scars in, in the right places that make you look cool. Um, <laughs> that's about it. I was expecting a different response from that, but that's okay. okay. Um, is how there, do I, I, I have, is there, is there a difference between <laughs> sexy stubble and regular stubble? Does it have anything to do with the face? Because I feel like the face has a lot to do with it, right? If you got the beard, then you're evil. If you got the stubble, then you're a bad boy. Uh. I'll yeah. take evil. I'll be, I'll be evil. All right. That's All okay. Right. No, that's that. nice. That's nice. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I, would, I mean, the difference is I didn't know when I was playing the good guy that I was a bad guy in disguise. So I was literally just playing a good guy who just didn't have good people skills. You know? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, did, uh, and, and what are you doing between, uh, between seasons? Is there anything that you're working on currently? I'm doing these lovely comic conventions. <laughs> and this one is the best one. I was just going to ask you that. Yeah. On a scale of Supercon. Um, it, yeah, but actually I am. Uh, last season, I, uh, last summer during the hiatus, I did a film called A Tourist. It's shot in Florence, Italy. Um, hopefully it will come out this year um, at one of the, uh, the Rome Film Festival or something like that. Uh, this season, um, in between seasons, I just finished a, a film called The Resurrection of Gavin Stone. That'll come out next year, hopefully, for something like when we were shooting for the Sundances. Um, and, and we'll see. It, it's, got, it's got real potential to be out there uh, and, and at a movie theater near you, rather than at these film festivals that are cool, but not everybody gets to see them. Um, and then uh, and there's a video game coming out August 25th, uh, Until Dawn, for PS4. It's got Hayden Penetier. Yeah, um, I'm in it. Uh, they got this in incredible technology. It looks exactly like me, which is scary and weird. But um, yeah, I, uh, it, it's a teen horror thing where you get to choose different situations, and all of your choices have an effect on how the how the uh, the game plays out. So so it's quite cool. Uh, yeah, if you're into to blood and teen horror kind of a thing, then, uh, then that's it. And, and cool technology. It's, or people it's just want to hear your voice. There's a lot of voiceover work in that? Yeah, there's also a lot All of right, screaming so. and agony and stuff like that. You know, a lot of, you know. <laughs> Is that a good? <laughs> screaming and agony, yeah, woo! <laughs> what, was the, uh, what was the experience like for that, working on that video game? Uh, it was great. Uh, we, I've been shooting this thing for years, actually. We almost finished it for the PS3. It was supposed to be a first-person kind of a thing where you use the, the PS3 controller as like a flashlight and illuminating things, and then, oh, there's a ghost. It's not a ghost, actually. It's, it's other stuff. Um, <laughs> that seemed like really cheap. Like, oh, there's a ghost, and that's it. No, the game is so much cooler than that. But PS4 was coming out, and they're like, we like this game so much. We want you to do it for this new, we have new technology, and uh, we want you to do it in a, in a different way, not a first-person kind of a thing, but uh, uh, a decision-based thing. Um, so anyway, it, it was very, very cool. Got to do the dots um, and, uh, and, and see the end result, and it's just uh, it's an amazing, it's amazing thing. So... Awesome. Yeah. Well, Shydra! Well, that is all the time that we have, and uh, I want to thank you very much for coming out. Guys, Brett Dalton, one more time. Thank you. This guy. And guys, mission accomplished. We made everybody jealous that they were not here at this panel. So Catch him you. at his signing, at his photo booth, and at his booth for signings, and at the uh, photo booth for photos. And thanks again. Yes, and photos happening right now at 6 We're going to have this sent to your hotel room. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, fantastic. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you.